Man, what up guys? Coming at you guys with another video, and uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be. You know, I'm a little disappointed right now, um, but you know, I'll get into that. So, many of you guys might not know, but uh, Leo Santa Cruz, he's my favorite fighter um, currently right now. And as you guys know, he uh, came in undefeated um, as WBA uh, super champ. And Carl Frampton moved up in weight uh, from super bantam weight uh, to challenge um, Santa Cruz. As you guys know, both of them were uh, undefeated until this point. You know, we uh, got to witness Carl Frampton become the new uh, WBA champion, and uh, you know Leo took his first loss. Which, you know, I'm still a fan of his. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, my fighter didn't win this fight, but it's okay. Uh, he'll, b he'll bounce back. And, uh, you know, he's still my favorite fighter. I know there's going to be, like, probably a lot of trash and uh, probably a lot of, like, people that are probably going to, um, like, oh shit, battery. Alright, my guys, uh, the, I mean, my bad guys, my battery, uh, almost ran out but I'm back um there's probably gonna be a lot of uh so-called fans of Santa Cruz that are probably gonna talk shit about him now you know now that he's not undefeated but man I really don't care because personally I like uh when two undefeated fighters fight each other you know like they say you know if you got an O you really haven't been tested unless you're like Mayweather but you know there's a lot of O in boxing and you know this is just one of the fights, uh, PBC, Al Heyman, you know, making this, uh, good, exciting fights of undefeated fighters. But, you know, Carl Frampton was, uh, you know, I, I personally, I believe it was 7-5. to five. Um, you know, Santa Cruz was saying he wants to rematch. Uh, he wants it in LA, but, you know, I personally think he did lose 7-5. to five. But, you know, he was really picking up the pace. Um, he got shook in the second round. You know, luckily the ropes were there. But, you know, I mean, he didn't look hurt afterwards. I mean, he he just, um, I'm not going to say it was a flash knockdown because it did hurt him. But, you know, he got up right away and uh, didn't really look hurt. Um, great footwork by Carl Frampton, man. That's what I, me, that's what personally... I believe that's why he won this fight because of his footwork, head movement, and the counter punches. You know, uh, personally, I like Leo Santa Cruz style come forward, um, throw uh, bunches and punches, but he was just getting countered. But, you know, he did win those other five rounds, in my opinion, where, you know, he was going toe to toe with them, and Carl Frampton was also there. Uh, much applause to him for being in the pocket with him. But, you know, let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought of the fight. Do you think he should uh, change trainers? Um, will he uh, bounce back? Who should he fight? Should he get that? Uh, try to go after the Abner Mares rematch? Uh, would you guys like to see a Frampton rematch? Me personally, I think um, this fight had the potential, but personally, I still think that uh, Thurman and Sean Porter is still the fight of the year. This was it's, it was up there, but personally, I think Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. Uh, was a little bit more action packed than this one, but you know, this was still a good fight. Go ahead and uh, comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe. Watch all my other videos. Peace.